140. Well, the thingy on the back of my phone popped off and I haven't picked it up and tried to put it back on my phone because it cracked. So, we'll see what happens. Yeah, fun fact, my aunt, she's a teacher, and she came over, and we had a little, like, pop talking on the back of the phone, and we were using it, you know, because we were taking photos at, like, museum, and she's like, hey, can you, can you tell me what it is, and I'm like, what it is, and she's like, yeah, why do kids have that on the phone now? And I'm like, oh, it's to hold it so you don't drop it. And she goes, oh, that makes sense. And I'm like, yeah. She's like, I've been seeing my kids gradually get it more and more. And it kind of like boomed. But I didn't want to ask them because I didn't want to be like a boomer teacher. Because she didn't say it like that. But she said I didn't want to be like one of those teachers that like are out of the loop. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, no, they're like pop sockets. Um, or like phone things and uh it just it's a thing people do like have to not drop their phone and she's like oh well, that makes a lot of sense and we're like yeah you can hold it you can like prop up your phone you can do this kind of thing and she's like oh i really like that <laughs> we're just so funny to be like yeah that's that's just what it is it is it is a, a pop socket that's it you know but they did boom in popularity very, like, not recent, super recent, but it just kind of went off. Get a ghost is known as real love. Not really a ghost, but it, I've seen enough of this in horror movies so that that door is bad. me. Hey, I held this on the wrong way. Oh, I'm wearing, you can't tell, it looks like a black shirt. I'm wearing the Buddy System shirt from Unis Honest because I finally got my chance through my family to wash it. My finger needs to not be in view, you know? I didn't move my mouse so I can see the bar just moving up every so I'm like watching it like a hawk. I 
Anyways, yeah, it was really funny. We were at a museum watching, looking at these, looking at like amazing things, right? We were in a museum and walking around and we were looking at all these things that are again in a museum. And it was great because we had that teeny, teeny, tiny little baby at the time um, toddling around. And people will turn away from these amazing things, amazing things to look at a baby and just be like, oh, what is it in a baby? And it's so funny because I too was looking at my little cousin, little baby, and just toddling around and everyone's like, what is it in a baby? And yeah, it's true. And it's so funny that we, I can have amazing artwork or history and everything but baby always always wins always wins yeah we were watching uh ethan watch tiktoks and with uh ethan watch tiktoks one of the very last ones was a little baby who sneezed or something and then just fell forward and it was so cute and he's like why does your baby look like baby Grinch but I'm like no it looks like Jack Jack in the Incredibles like this baby is like why does your baby look like that you know why how Yeah, my uh, sister mentioned my other aunt that really been pushing us to like go visit her even so we're not vaccinated fully, blah blah blah. Her birthday's coming up and we're gonna be mostly all the way vaccinated like at the two weeks after. So we're like, should we go? Should we risk it? Should we, you know? So uh, with that, we were thinking about it and uh and uh, uh, uh because she's just been pushing us so much so um we're thinking about it and we're like uh
And it somehow feels very, very long and yet quicker than normal, but it still feels like pulling teeth, you know? Also, I, I looked into it, I, I, I cheated, I looked into if, um, was a backstory in the book of the Witcher for Yennefer. And I know in an interview they mentioned that the actress for Yennefer decided to do the moving her jaw to the side, but apparently holding her shoulders differently is canon in the book. So I'm like, wait, is that canon? So I don't know, but somebody said it was in the chapter I'm reading right now, so I'm like, okay, it's like literally the last chapter. So, like, the last wish, and then the very last little wrap up. And then, uh, the voice of reason, so I'm like, okay, so I'll see. Because when things are book, book, Netflix, games. So I want to know what's in the book, but I also don't want to read what other somebody else says necessarily. Because A, if I'm reading, I don't know, read the book, you know? So, we'll see. So, I don't know, so I might have to take back what I said about the Netflix writers. Because they were like, she didn't have a backstory when we got to her, but then it did. Like, it seems like she did have a backstory, but maybe they meant like they made her human or depth to the backstory. <laughs> yeah, the antidote, antidote, ant words with those, my sister. I'm like, oh, what do I say? I miss blah, 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 and I'm like, don't. I heard that argument, I heard that conversation via Mark too many times, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Yeah, one of the favorite, or least, like, it's a funny, like, actively, because Carol is looking at an invisible Yennefer take a bath, and he's like, oh, the soap reveals, like, shapes, and I'm like, the shapes are boobs, aren't they? You're, you're talking about her boobies. And it's like, oh, the water shows, like, this and that, and I'm like, is this and that? boobies? Is it just more boobies? Are you talking about boobies? You know? And, uh, so it's just like, okay, we're, we're talking about boobies. And, uh, it's just like, that was actually really stupid and funny because I'm like, is the author writing Geralt like this for a reason? Like, he's thirsty AF? Like, he needs to get laid? Or did the author just need to get laid, you know? Like, is, are you, do, do, do you need to be, you know? Like, who, 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 so, who just needs to be laid? Is it Geralt? Are you writing him like that on purpose? Or is it you as the author, you know? And then the classic, this is where it kind of actually annoys me not in a funny ha uh, ha this is bad right? like kind of way like an actual like ooh. it was with Geralt thinking like oh she didn't even bother with the uh uh whalebone corset because she didn't need it like the other girls or other women and I'm just like complimenting one person by putting down others is not a good compliment. 
I thought they were gonna make her modern. I was like, she didn't even bother with the corset because like, no one needs a corset because you said the word need. No one needs a corset. No one needs shapewear. No one needs, well, not that I was gonna say bras, but actually have you tried working out with big boobs? Does not work. Yeah, you're gonna pass out. You're gonna put right in your face and die. <laughs> And that's not the point. I mean, other like shapewear and stuff like that. You don't need any of that. You don't need a corset for shape. Now, it could be interesting if she didn't put on, like, because she had small boobs, she didn't need a certain shapewear because certain things like corsets and bodices work really 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 well with big boobs like they hold those things up and it doesn't make your back hurt now that could have been interesting she didn't need it but that's not what they meant like it was like she had that teeny tiny waist she didn't need it it's like okay well no one needed it cool especially in the same chapter where they said a fat lady laid a certain way with her dress up in her sleep and it wasn't a pretty sight I'm like because she was fat are you saying because she's fat what if she was attractive and you've been like because that's also extremely gross just saying